do the kill streak on this scoreboard, the um, everything else, including kills and deaths. And like I said, you got to do everything. The only thing it didn't show was the KD. And uh, that's going to be on another video for part four, but that's going to be in the next while. But as you can tell, there's no KD working right now, but I'll teach you guys how to do that if when I figure it out. I'm just trying to work with the operations, but I haven't had the time to actually work on it. I just want to show you guys how to do this, and on a later future update, I actually show you guys how to make it so it says like 0 0.2, 0 0.1. But for you guys' information, I'm going to say, if you know how to do like the actual kill streak, you know it divides, you know, kills by deaths or deaths by kills. I forget which order it is. I'll figure that out later. And all you're going to do is do that through the actual uh, uh, that, and you're going to make it so it equals a certain operation. So the operation is going to be uh, KD. But no, let's get into the video though. So if you guys didn't do the last part where you actually added the time played part, you've got to add all that blue stuff added to the scoreboard. And that blue stuff is going to show the time played. Now, as I said, you have to add the objective names like I showed you through um, money I showed you how to add the objective name but now you're gonna have to add the second which is gonna be SEC and then men capital well, with a capital S and there's a capital in front of each one as I make it kind of neat and day there's an hour minute and second and it's all it's doing is putting it in simpler form so I don't have to write the whole thing out and then you got to add the zeros to it like before like I showed you guys hour with a capital H and the due day with a capital D oh I put hour twice actually I'll fix that later though and then second and minute and this is KD but I haven't done that yet like I said guys but I will do it in a future update I haven't really made it yet, just made it show KD. That's it. Yeah. And as I was gonna say, is hold up, let me just delete. No, I'll do that after the video. But what you're gonna do now is now you go to this part. You see where it says adding second. I want you to type this in real quick. It's pretty actual simple. Sorry guys. And you're gonna put it when you're done, you're gonna go right here and put a 20 delay in ticks. It's gonna add a second every second. In real life, 20 ticks equals a second. This is going to add a minute. How it works is if the player actually has the, that's why but that scores equals sec means if any player truly has 60 seconds, it's going to add a minute. And then this one's chain, so it happens right after that. So it doesn't happen first on this one. It's resetting the seconds instantly, like as soon as after they get that 60, basically. And this one's adding with anybody with 60 minutes an hour, and then this one's going to reset them in minutes and the same with this one's gonna add a day after 24 hours because if you know how it works it's 24 instead of 60 like the other ones and this one's resetting the hour now there's no more to go to I'm not gonna do week and month because then every week I would have to do like day I mean weeks are not gonna be hard to do but what the issue would be is doing the months because in every month I would have to change the scoreboard to what month and I have to make the actual month days and all that cooperate I don't want to have to work on that and also, I could make it show what month, but that would be a pretty cool update. But other than that, yeah, that's basically all it is to the scoreboard. Scoreboard's not too complicated to actually do. Now, yes, typing it, it is, but this behind it, when you get really good at commands, you actually learn this is pretty easy. And I'm going to make some more YouTube tutorials on how to do other commands like this or even better commands, like stuff that you would actually need. Like in this, you don't really need that. Like, this ain't the most important scoreboard, but as you customize it, as I said, there's a few other ways, and I'll teach you guys how to do that in another video, which I taught a little bit in the last, in part one. If you guys want to go check that out, you can. That actually shows you how to do the money, kills, streak, the deaths, and everything. But this is showing the name between this bracket right here and this bracket over here. You're going to change the name. So if you see, if I name this impact kit pvp between those two brackets right here and the other one right before that pv p oh oops right up with the capital p and you can do any colors you really plead but if you have any other like special like that's why i said you just got to yeah, use that double s but if you have any other color formation, you can use it. But all I did is just a green, red, and blue like I did in the actual name. 
And if you want to like color anything else, like those little three lines I did, or remove them three lines, add your own kind of texture. Do the, do so because it's not my opinion. But I really highly provide these colors, but don't copy this on point. Now, if you want to use like how I have money and kill streak. What you're going to do to move the kill streak down if you don't like it's right next to money, but it might get a little in front of like your armor, or your hunger. If you do that kind of stuff, you want to try to keep it kind of short so it's not too like covering up most people's screens. Because some people, someone might have a monitor and it covers up like you know basically half the screen if you make it too big. But as you're gonna see, I use a lot of these like reverse slash. It's not an actual straight. It's not the slash going to the right. It's actually going to the left, and it's gonna bring it down one space. So you can tell where it says kill streak right up here, it doesn't have that slash in. So that means it's gonna if I put it, I space it away from money instead. But anyone with slash in will go down. Like KD, I put slash in before that and it went down below money on the next line. In time play to put slash in and then for the days I didn't put the day or the hour or the minute or second, which was like the letters, I didn't put those in a different one. I didn't put those in a this slash in or a different line. I kept that in that line because it looks proper like that. But if you want to move like any of them down the space or anything, you want to make your own objective. If you know how to work around this, I'll show you how to customize it and actually do that in the future. But I just want to show you guys how to move stuff like kill streak away from what you want to add it to because some people like to actually have it a little looking different. But you basically put this, that's like the straight slash oops, this is the reverse slash and that's the end. And I'll put that straight down instead of right next to money. Now if you want to move it back because you didn't like it, you just got to remove that slash end. Not too complicated to do. But this is pretty long of a um, actual command. That's why I showed you only how to do money and the reason why you might just want to do money. But it works like a normal scoreboard as I said. And all you're going to want to do, it's going to count all your money. So it's going to remove the money like a normal scoreboard, add the money like a normal scoreboard, move your kills like a normal scoreboard, and it's going to work just like a normal scoreboard. And if I do this, boop, as you can see, it's going to add 50. Now, watch as I remove, this will actually happen. Bop, it's going to remove that 50. Now, if I just remove another, it's going to go down to here, down to here. Now, you can technically get to negatives, but if you guys want to fix that and do that, there's another way, so like a shop system, so you don't get people negatives. But I would highly provide not making negative numbers. It's kind of too much work, and that's all I really wanted to show you guys for this video. And like I said, all you got to do is add all the objective names with all the caps and everything by doing this one command. Slash score or objectives add an objective name, like like sec, let's per se, and then put dummy. And that will happen. And you got to do minute, you got to do the money one with capital M, kill streak with capital K-I-L-L, -L, capital S, T-R-E-A-K without a space. And then the objective name kills, K, capital K, I, L, S, I, L, L, S. And then the deaths, capital D, A, D, E, A, T, H, S. And then the time played, capital day, capital hour for H, capital M for capital M for capital men, capital S for capital for sec with a capital S. So that's all you got to do. And everything has a capital before it and deaths, kills, or and that's so the only ones that end with that's at the end. So it's just going to be day, hour, min, second with capitals before them. Have a great day, guys. And if you want to see any more like these commands or whoever is actually in my chat at the current moment, if you want to see anything before I go for a few more minutes, I can work on this thing. I will. Or if you want to ask anything about the scoreboard, let me know. Hold up. I'm sorry guys, I was like, going through a seizure for a minute, bro. Hold up. Some name, kid named UV, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, commented on one of my videos, I want to see what he commented. He, how did make it working actually? I'm just going to look at this comment so I can see. 
UV. When my account gets on ban, can you help? Uh, yes, UV. Yes, I can. But, um, as if you've seen how I work the scoreboard, you're literally typing every command I typed in from part 1 to part B. And then part 2. And then you're just going to destroy any of the extra commands working with scoreboards other than that scoreboard that you have for money on the side of your screen. Keep all of them for. Just remove really anything else that's unnecessary. And just add, like, the objective names if you want to do it yourself. But if you want help, let me know. But do you want to see anything else cool with commands before I go? Could you um, actually let me know, Yuvi? This is going to be the parkour I have for, like, a mini game in my kit PvP. But, like, it's I'm planning on A, making a mini game map or a kit PvP. I don't know which one I want. But, you know, kit PvPs are a little smaller, so I'm planning on starting with a kit PvP. Maybe adding, like, a mining sim to it, and I can host which one I want to do. But, any specific, if you guys want to see anything, let me know. Yuvi doesn't really want to see anything, so I'm guessing, because he hasn't really done anything to show that. But, before I go, see your guys. Um, I was on. I forgot to actually add this little part in. You don't you just have to add money? Kill us, kills, hour, day, hour. Remove that. Death, sec, men, men. Okay. If you guys actually know how to, want to know how to do that, if you ever actually have control, or I mean your shift button on your um, PC, and you want your um, button that picks the block, so you press shift, pick block, copies the database of the actual command, Boop. as you see, and so you don't have to type the thing over and over again, or do copy and paste, you get it done instantly. Well, now you guys have seen what I've done, have a great day, if you guys got any other questions, or want to see a part 3, let me know in the next video, have a great day, bye. Oh wait, I gotta leave it. I keep on forgetting to do that. Wow, great day.